guys, welcome to the funny challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Take two. Hey guys, welcome to our channel. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Cook with Tiff where you get the best dish. Let's go! Cook with Tiff, the muffin gang. These hands are made for cooking and to educate. Why don't you grab a seat at our table? Leave no empty space. If you stay a while, put a smile on your face with these. banana bread and this oatmeal banana bread will be low in sugar so this video is dedicated to diabetes awareness and let me just educate you guys about diabetes so firstly diabetes is one of the leading causes of death in Jamaica and guys I try to always read up about the different diets and anything that has to do with nutrition or culinary whenever I get the chance and when I was working at a hospital I was shocked to see that every ward had diabetic patients so I'm like wow this is really 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 something that needs to be targeted and deals with there are three types of diabetes you have type 1 diabetes and this is where the, the pancreas does not produce any insulin you have type 2 diabetes and this is where the pancreas produces a little a small amount of insulin and then you have gestational diabetes and this normally affects women whenever they are pregnant and it usually goes away like after um after birth but sometimes it comes back later on in life so they have to make necessary adjustments to their diet now guys let us get right into the video and let me tell you something because you know so i have to talk to you straight and forward because one cook with tips touch a diet is happening so enough time when you hear low sugar and you hear low salt and you hear low fat you know, automatically things say don't taste good but me, but me, me tiffany cook with tips where you get the best dish tell you something this meal are nice try it when you go home the healthy way is the best way now let us get right into <laughs> Woo! now let us get right into the video come along so these are the ingredients that you need so this is an inexpensive meal right so you don't need a lot of ingredients when you're preparing this meal so you will need some oats and I'm using Fosca oats today you'll also need some pistachio nuts or any nuts of your choice you can use walnuts almond nuts any nuts that you prefer that are unsalted you will also need some flax seeds two eggs and this time I ensure that I put the egg in a bowl can you remember the last time my egg dropped yeast and full cream we don't want that to happen again you will also need two bananas and I'm using two medium-sized bananas as well as some cinnamon powder and almond and vanilla you will also need just a small amount of baking powder we're using two cups of oats and the reason why we're using two cups of oats is because oats is high in fiber and fiber is very important in one's diet not only patients that are diabetic but everyone's diet so with fiber it keeps you full that is one of the importance of fiber so when you eat it your belly full the next thing is that the body cannot absorb or break down fiber as other carbohydrates which does not cause a spike in the blood glucose level or the blood sugar level rather so 
Our next ingredient that we will be using is two eggs. So we're going to break the eggs in the bowl first, just to ensure that all the eggs are good. And then we're going to add it to the oats and we're going to blend. Basically, we want it to look like this. We're going to blend it some more and then we will have a creamier consistency or a smoother consistency when we add the, the, the bananas and everything to it. So we're going to put this aside for just a little while and then we're going to crush our bananas. We will need two ripe bananas. And guys, you know normally when persons are diabetic, they always say, oh, they're not supposed to eat fruits because because it's high in sugar well you can eat your fruits and you can enjoy any fruit of your choice even though fruits has a sugar called fructose once you eat it in moderation and you speak with your dietitian then you won't have any problem eating your fruits So now we're going to add some cinnamon powder and I'm using half tablespoon cinnamon powder. Here I have vanilla and almond and I'm using the vanilla and almond because you know we have to have flavor with everything that we do. I'm going to show you how we can make something without sugar and make it still taste good. The vanilla has fewer sugars as well as it has less calories. So it's very important in the meal. And the vanilla is not processed. So using this now can just add flavor without making it unhealthy. I'm going to add our crushed banana mixture to our oats so that we can combine both of them. And remember guys, we're not leaving anything behind. Clear out your bowl. Clear it out. We're also going to add quarter cups of water and just to make everything mix out, let's use a spoon. So this is how it should look. Nice and thick. You don't need any flour. Now we're going to add um, our flax seed and this is one tablespoon of flax seed. And this is optional, if you don't want to add flaxseed to it, you don't have to. Let us move on to our nuts and I'm going to use our food processor and crush all of our pistachio nuts. We're going to add the nuts and guys, you're probably wondering why my food processor have this color. I can assure you that this is very, very clean. I made pimento powder in my food processor and uh, it changed the color completely. I tried everything to take out the stain, but nothing worked. Mm. 
I tried hot water, bleach it, everything. The color just now come back. Just gonna add just a few inside and then the remaining will be at the top of our banana bread. And we're now going to add one teaspoon baking powder. Right to my side, I know She pulled up with her friends Then we skirt off in the bands oh, Took her back to my crib And I regret it Took her back So don't feel no way. Every video will be dedicated to someone. Every video will teach you how to make certain things. We are here to teach and we are also here to learn. That is what we are here for. So we want everybody, we welcome everybody to cook with tips. So this channel caters for everyone. We're not catering for any specific we're catering for everybody and guys i just want to tell you some signs and symptoms about diabetes so you know that you have hypoglycemia i have hyperglycemia so the reason why i say like that is so that you guys can remember so hypoglycemia means that you have a low blood glucose level or a low blood sugar level hyperglycemia that means that you have a high glucose level or a high blood sugar level okay so just remember the difference and some signs and symptoms include increased thirst hunger you also get irritable you profuse sweating there are a lot of different types of uh, signs and symptoms with diabetes so you need to know the difference between hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia and i will be writing down below in the description of everything that you need to know or no i will be stating down in the description and just giving you some tips and educating you about diabetes because this video is dedicated to diabetes Watch me you know, now. Watch the video and what you know now. Press the like button. Remember to press that like button, the thumbs up when you watch the video and subscribe and also share. Peace.